What's up guys, this is your boy, the Average Game and Theater here back with another video and looking extremely silly. So, first of all, do let me know down in the comments below how silly this is on a scale of 1 to 10. You can actually rate it even 12. So, in today's video, we are gonna actually look at how to face Boss Superman in Rise of Krypton, Solar Raids, Star 5, Normal Raids, and what are the best teams to even use here? What are the artifacts to use here so that we can actually have a lot of damage against Boss Superman? And I'm actually almost done with Boss Superman. In the next refresh, I will be finishing off Rise of Krypton, Solar Raids. I think till now I have seen only one player finish it, and uh, I guess, and that's Lord Dragon, so I'll leave a uh, link for lord dragon again in my description you can check out his channel as well and in today's video we will be breaking down on um, how to beat boss superman so let's get on with this video so let's first look at the modifiers that we have for boss superman so let's play the video here and let's look at the modifiers here so let's pause here so you can see boss collector of worlds superman transforms opponent's buff into dot all right so it transforms the buff into dot. He has extra high defense and resists crits, armor pierce, dot, while also being immune to stun and freeze. In addition, he also has defensive measures in place to prevent himself from taking an excessive amount of damage from any single attack. So this actually applies, this defensive measure one actually applies across multiple uh, characters as well. So basically this means your KM SP3 will not do 10%, instead it will do 3% of the remaining health and that is the cap so here you have 280 million health on boss superman so the three percent cap is basically 8.4 million so that is the maximum amount of damage that you can do with one single hit so all right you can see here it says like he has extra high defense and resist crits armor pierce and dot while being immune so the thing that a superman does not resist is lethal attack so this is going to be something which is essential for fighting boss superman so all your teams which have lethal attack damage, lethal attack chance, those are going to be helpful in fighting against boss Superman. So the main team that you are definitely want to use here to fight boss Superman is Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd paired with Justice League Flash paired with King of Atlantis Aquaman. So the reason why you want to do this is Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd actually has that passive where he once he lands a lethal attack he actually gains a, a bonus in power and also he decreases the opponent's defense like you can see here uh, superman is not uh, like uh, is is not going to take damage from armor pierce and stuff so that's why you want to reduce the defense as much as possible so here this is the suggestion because you don't want to use dr fate the reason is if you use dr fate you're going to reduce only 10 percent of the defense and that defense decrease does not stack up which is the case with batman ninja gorilla grod so you definitely want to use batman ninja gorilla grod in so that's that's right for this part let's play this video and let's look at the passive uh, and uh, the passives basically uh, boss superman has so like i said it has increased defense increased resistance to everything basically then impenetrable players basic swipe and tag attacks with armor pierce do not bypass defense of target so one thing to keep in mind is your all blades is not going to work here so nightmares already tested it out uh, nightmares if you're not knowing who nightmares is uh, you better check out his channel i'll again leave a link down in the description so he has completed uh, solo raids uh, level seven as well the first person to legally do that and uh, he actually tested it out that Heartbreaker Harley Quinn's uh, uh, like he tested out with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn where he had the all blades equipped you are not going to get any buffs from the all blades so it's important to keep in mind that any buff that actually has an icon shown here that is going to get converted to like a dot so it will not help you at all so the best team here like I said is going with BNGG Flash and uh, Justice League the Flash and then King of Atlantis Aquaman all right so let's jump into the gameplay so it's it's a pretty straightforward gameplay i'll show you my characters here like i do have uh, the artifacts in the form of the new artifacts the rise of krypton artifacts the kryptonite artifacts they do a lot of damage so you know, but if you're not having them the best option to kind of even go for is to use the claw forest on king of atlantis aquaman and i guess any any artifact the azure artifacts which actually gives up 
attack post directly and not as an icon like uh, uh, the tech artifact will give and all the other artifacts that give a boost so you can use that to actually have more attack but the best suggestion is to use claw forest on your king of atlantis aquaman character so that you can do a ton of damage so from a gameplay perspective it's pretty simple you would try to do an infinite combo string tag in tag out do the infinite combos do an sp3 and tag out so this is how the gameplay will look like so let's have a look at the gameplay so initially like since i have everything equipped with rise of krypton artifacts it's difficult to start the combo initially with an infinite one because i'm not having the father box with which i usually do uh, the uh, infinite combo so as you can see like it's a mistake here where the first special ability is not gonna do any damage to boss superman basically this boss superman is just an armored superman <laughs> reskin which doesn't make sense but good thing here is still now like i have not noticed anyone like even in my pips uh, like i've played like five pips so in all the five pips i have not noticed any uh, like uh, use of the super shield which uh, boss superman is supposedly having given the power cost that is being mentioned so once you corner boss superman you can actually easily go for the infinite combo then again if you're not using the kryptonite artifacts if you're having the father box then it will be a much easier step so as you can see here it's pretty easy to continue the infinite combo do the sp3 do the sp3 as soon as you tag in king of atlantis aquaman and then tag out so that you can do a lot more damage and you can see here like i can actually keep on tagging in and doing the infinite combo while superman's power is almost full so that's it i guess for this video guys on how to play and what are the best ways to even play boss superman because boss superman is going to be Im uh, like immune to a lot of stuff you cannot use justice league directly because he'll be immune to the armor pierce so yeah, one thing you can use is the multiverse team where you have the special one of mvsg actually reducing the crit resistance that would work and that's a good alternative team to actually use here if you're not uh, like uh, uh, going with KOM or you want to kind of experiment but again then again the best team is here is definitely the team that I'm currently showing you you might argue like uh, why not use Shazam then if you're using Shazam the number of hits that you are getting it's not going to be higher the first attack hits are increased when you're using justice league the flash and as a result the number of combo hits are going to be lesser in that case and the damage offset is actually lesser so this will give more damage so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed me looking extremely silly as well as uh, trying to help out on boss superman on how to beat boss superman like i'm pretty close the next refresh it will be done and i will be showcasing the rewards as well so that's it for this video guys if you enjoy the content don't forget to like and subscribe and get more about injustice 2 mobile so this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off you guys take care and by the way merry christmas merry christmas you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace thank you